Hi guys, good morning. So today's video is going to be the seamstress tag video. Um, the seamstress tag is something that was started by Holly Sews, a vlogger that I enjoy very much. And basically you have to answer 12 questions. So let's get started. I'm Hila. I live in West Yorkshire with my partner and five children. And today I am wearing my Sewaholic Renfrew top with a chevron pencil skirt. Okay, so when I was graduating, I didn't have any money and there were no student loans coming in. I had to buy a really nice frock for my graduation day, but I couldn't afford it. So I decided to make a graduation dress, which resulted in me buying a cheap sewing machine, buying some red fabric, and I went and bought Vogue, Vogue 8280, and I made this for my graduation using the pattern instructions and an old Reader's Digest book showing me how to do things. So that's how I sort of started sewing, but because I had to do all that intensive sewing, in two weeks and learning a lot of things from scratch including an invisible zipper and lining the bodies it kind of put me off sewing so i didn't sew for another good four three or four years after that and then i took it back up again two and a half years ago and i haven't looked back since okay my most proudest make has to be this vogue 8601 jacket with modifications that i made for the pattern review sewing bee last year. I got through to the final round and this was in round three and I won that round as well so I got like something extra special but I learned a lot of things. I had to make it in 10 days. I used plaid which I hadn't used before so I had to do all the pattern matching. I put in some weld pockets which weren't a part of the original pattern and it's all the details that I included so I had to draft the facings and I also put in a piped seam line and yeah it's just something that I super impressed myself with and it's my proudest make. My most disastrous make has to be when I tried to sew with a vintage pattern for the first time. So this is the pattern that I was going to sew and I thought oh yeah that is so cute I could totally rock that look you know kind of flares out but when I made it it looked nothing like that it was a sack of potatoes a sack of potatoes and this was the muslin so I haven't ventured into sewing vintage patterns ever since favorite fabric shop I can't answer that question to be honest because basically any shop that sells fabric I really like and yeah so I think any place that sells fabric is my favorite fabric shop. <laughs> my most used pattern has to be Sewaholic Hollybund skirt. I have made six of them so far and I still have plans to make more my most no I've made seven actually seven because there's a red linen one which is packed away with my summer clothes but these are the winter ones that I have out so this is a denim one with an exposed zip um, this is one of my favorite ones it's a very autumnal color so and I still have plans to make more my next one is going to be made in this bark cloth so Sewaholic Holly Burn Skirt is my most used pattern. Without a doubt, rethreading the overlocker is my most threaded sewing pattern. I have been known to do French seams because I can't be asked to rethread my overlocker or to do flat filled seams just because I don't want to change the thread on the overlocker. Or even worse, I've been known to use red overlocker thread on white fabric just because I didn't want to change <laughs> the thread on the overlocker. I always regret it every time I use the wrong color but I just I hate 
doing that. Absolutely hate it. My most favorite sewing task is anything that uses a hammer. I love bashing seams and flattening them with my hammer. And I have this really cute old vintage hammer that's just been around for years, but it's really found its home hammering denim seams and also hammering in rivets and uh, jeans patterns. So yeah, anything that involves a hammer. Yay! My favorite sewing entertainment has to be um, reading blogs, but particularly going through blog galleries where people are showing all the things that they have made in the past year or years. I, I just really go down a rabbit hole and I'm just clicking and clicking and clicking. So that's like my favorite sewing entertainment. PDF, without a doubt. Instant gratification, yes. If I mess up with the sizing or I cut out the wrong size because I'm distracted, I can just print it out again. So I don't have to worry about that. If I want to make it for somebody else, I can just print it out and cut in the size for either my sister or my mother. So definitely PDFs. I mean, I still like printed patterns, but I do think PDFs are definitely more advantageous than printed patterns, especially the instant gratification. Can't go wrong with that. Husqvarna H-Class 100Q sewing machine. Knitting, crocheting, gardening, DIY, baking, yoga, cooking, and more recently, shoemaking. I was just dabbling. Oh, I also love reading. I always have my Kindle and I just, I read loads of books. Fiction and non-fiction. So yeah. <laughs> so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making this video. And yeah, click like, subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Bye.